There's another one coming in. It's her cock she's bad with. And there's another one. It wasn't that bad after all. Jan did still won 22nd and 63rd prize against 2,000 birds. The man who ruled this race was Pim de Koning. From the coast we'll go to the south, to St. Willibrod. A little while ago, one of Holland's best flyers, at Scharlakens, started racing here together with retired butcher Tim Heeren, under the name of Scharlakens Heeren. How Art started all over again here with the young birds will show you in this report. Art, it has been a while since we last saw one another. Yes, quite some time. Seven years to be precise. A lot has changed. Why? It has its reasons. Two years ago I got a problem, or better my wife did. She fell sick from one day to the other, very sick. She had to stay in bed, she was throwing up, she had a fever. She had to go through a series of tests. Finally it was established that the pigeons were causing the sickness. A specialist was called in. He confirmed once more that her sickness was caused by the pigeons. I told him I wrote articles about raising pigeons professionally. My wife was having health problems because of the pigeons, but I can't ride without them. So we found a solution. The specialist told me that the lofts closest to the house had to be taken down. In this way I could still keep pigeons. But I have to change my clothes to the clothes I wear in the loft. I may not take them into the house. The hair causes problems too. Dust gets in it. So I have to wash my hair or wear a hat. In this way I could keep raising pigeons. So I pulled down the lofts, cleaned everything and put the pigeons in the car. I had heard of someone who wanted to stop raising pigeons because he wasn't successful. He had a lot of space and a big accommodation. So I drove there and here we are in St. Willibrod. St. Willibrod of all places. Yes, St. Willibrod, known for its fine pigeons. That's my place now. I look upon it as a challenge. In Barla Nassau, it may sound a little arrogant, there was no one who could compete against me and my young birds. I really dominated the young birds races. When I first heard the news, it was quite a shock, but I've accepted it and now I don't mind anymore. In Barla Nassau, it wasn't much of a challenge any longer because the results were outstanding. So I look upon it as a new challenge here. I want to see what I can accomplish, right here. I don't come here every day, mostly only once a week or once every 14 days. The sports friend, with whom the pigeons are staying, was a butcher. He retired last year. He has really started a new life. Now he does everything for the pigeons. He never was a top fan, sure, but he does have the right attitude for racing pigeons. I've written things down, to make no mistakes. We didn't dominate the races as it did in Baal and Nassau, but we still had good results. Last year we had the first ace pigeon short distance, the first ace pigeon all round, and the first ace pigeon long distance, all with the young birds. This year we again had the ace pigeon young birds, over all races and the ace pigeon long distance. But that's the challenge, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I want to see what this man here, who's highly motivated, can accomplish. Here he is, Tim Heeren. So this is the partner, Tim Heeren. Tim, what's it like to race with a champion like Art Scharlakens? Toppen mag ik wel zeggen als Atschalakens in zee te gaan. Ja, ik vind dat heel gezellig. Gezellig. Ja, lekker. It's very nice. For the first time the pigeons are getting good results here. This wasn't so before. No, it wasn't. I told me we won't be the best in the first year, but we will certainly not be the worst either. In the first year we did race pretty well. 
In the old days, when someone told me you have to give the pigeons this or this, I did. I gave them everything. Ad told me, don't give them anything of all that stuff. When you have to give a cure against canker for three days, Ad tells me to give it only for two days. Everything as little as possible. He always says, Tim, don't give anything, only when it's necessary you have to treat them. You really have to give as little as possible. The fanciers here in the village often ask me, what does I tell you to give the pigeons? I tell them, it's very simple. I only have to give the pigeons food and water, nothing else. Ad always tells me, what really matters is, good pigeons. He makes the selection, he gets rid of pigeons that I would never remove. Ad always says, you have to get rid of the good ones and keep the supers. And that is what he really does. The lofts are built according to your ideas? They probably are a copy of the lofts in Barla Nassau, right? Yes, but they are even better and more luxurious. So, this is the Youngbirds loft? Yes, these are the Youngbirds lofts. We had to keep a few things in mind. The windows may not be too big. A loft's front may only consist of glass for one third. A young bird's loft must not be too light. That could cause problems with ornithosis. We made the arrival sensors of the electronic clocking system a bit higher. I had some problems with it in Bala Nassau. There I had the sensors laying flat on top of the landing board. And with each spell of bad weather, when it had rained all night, the pigeons were not timed by the system. So here we raised it up a little by putting screws in between the board and the sensors. At first we had a regular wooden bottom in the Sputnik. When it was raining it was filled with water. The pigeons would bath in it and make themselves dirty. We took out the regular bottom and put in a wooden grill. The gutter is another thing. I think you shouldn't put a gutter to a pigeon loft. I didn't have one in Bala Nassau. My lofts were made of plastic boards, anyhow. Nothing could happen with it. But Tim said, I have to have gutters so that the wood won't rot. The loft builder had a great solution. Narrow gutters, the pigeons can't get into. Pigeons shouldn't walk about in gutters. The roof is constructed in this way on purpose. A pigeon can't actually sit on the roof. They slide off it into the landing board and are then timed. There are also some plastic roof tiles in the roof. Not too many and not too few either. The loft is a duplicate of the loft in Bala Nassau only a bit more luxurious. There I had to build everything myself. If there are no results in this loft, it is not because of the loft isn't good enough. I'm sure of that. Can we take a look in the loft? Yeah, you can look wherever you want. Do you have any secrets? No, not one. Did you have any before? Yes, before I had some. For a couple of years I kept it a secret that I was practicing the darkening system. So I didn't actually lie, for no one asked me if I did. They didn't know the term darkening system. Everybody was stunned to see how late my young bird started molting. These are the young birds lofts. I race with separate sexes. The advantage I see in it is that you can get good results every week. Not everything is focused on just one race, like Orleans for example. That's a kind of Russian roulette. When you happen to have a bad wind that day, all your work has been for nothing. So we race separate sexes and not in a natural way. The folding door here is very practical. With this door, you can still put box birches or other things on both sides of the wall. 
A door like this only costs about 30 pounds. They have standard measures, but you can make them smaller yourself, of course. It functions very well. A lot of people have copied it already. This lattice wall is to make the pigeons tame. I have it in every component. The pigeons are pretty tame and quiet. They remain seated. Here I have mechanical ventilation system. It is mostly turned on throughout the day, except when it's cold and windy. During the night it has to be turned off, no doubt about it. In Bala Nassau, I would get out of bed in the middle of the night just because I wasn't scared that I hadn't turned off the ventilator. The loft cools down enormously when it stays turned on during the night. We haven't got mechanical ventilation with the Widderwood cocks, but we keep very few cocks per loft. I think this is really important. When you have glass in the roof, plastic roof tiles for example, and you want to use the darkening system, you've got a problem. A lot of people will close these slides in the ceiling then, with the consequence that there is no ventilation during nights, whatsoever. We have solved that in this way. The slides in the ceiling stay open. We use slides to darken the plastic roof tiles. They don't work that well now because we haven't used them for quite some time. This is how we darken the lofts completely. So, during the nights the ceiling stays open. Yes, certainly it's open. So ventilators off, ceilings open. Ventilator out, plafond open. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I find this very important. Normally I have straw on the floors. To my opinion, bean straw is the best. The little straw that's left, which you can see here, is also bean straw. Pea straw sticks together too much. Bean straw doesn't stick. But the quality is not the same always. You can't get good quality bean straw every year. So now I have wood shavings. They are good as well. I think the stuff has been in here for one and a half year now. It's time to refresh it one of these days. You have got a lettuce wall here. Its purpose is to make the pigeons tame. When you stand right here, the pigeons can't get past you very easily. It forces them to stay seated when you're near them. There are perches, little nest boxes and corners everywhere in this loft. Pigeons have to become attached to it and feel at home in the loft. I know you used to raise the young ones in a natural way. That was a long time ago. The reason was that I wanted to take part in a national race from Orleans, with 12 hens sitting on youngsters of 10 days old. When the pigeons had quality, then you would win some top positions for sure. In the same way I wanted to excel on the Orleans race. I now want to excel week after week. This isn't possible with a natural game. Young birds sitting on eggs, that won't work. Young birds sitting on eggs are worthless. They won't exercise. Art, how's the young birds game played here? We race with separate sexes, because we want to perform throughout the young bird season. When you race in a natural way, the pigeon will only have their top form for two weeks. When they are sitting on eggs, they won't perform at all. With youngsters, they are in condition for two weeks. When you are unlucky, and the weather or wind is not to your advantage during the two weeks, you've got a problem. That's why I now raise with separate sexes. I do not separate them too early. I separate the young birds after they have raised two or three races. The reason for this is that I don't believe in playing only one system. When you only raise the pigeons separated for three months, I think the pigeons get fed up with it. In a natural game, having one nest after the other isn't good either. So I separate them a bit later, when they have found themselves a mate. Then they are raised separately for six weeks, until Orleans. 
We also entered our pigeons on Bourges two weeks after Orleans. It was a very bad race, with storms, rain and even hail. The pigeons still show the effects. We lost the view as well. Of course it had to be the best. What does this widowhood with young birds look like for the rest? When do you let them join one another? I let them be together a day before basketing night and I separate them again in the evening of the day of the race, when it's dark. But when it's really hot, I don't let them be together before basketing night. After a couple of weeks, they know the system anyhow. So when it's really hot, I just catch them in their own loft and basket them. You said you're using the darkening system. When do you start and for how long will you darken them each day? We start with it in the middle or at the end of May. We stop darkening the loft in the beginning of June. The day may not last longer than 10 hours, 10 hours of daylight. Where these 10 hours are in the day doesn't matter. Here it is from 9 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the evening. But it could also be, say, from 6 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 